get get out. Call your mom. Tell her come get you. I'm not gonna keep dealing with you. What do you mean? Why would I do that? That's still your child. No, no, that's your child. Women should offer to pay the whole bill so that men actually know if we're really interested or not. Because a man gets hit with the surprise of his life, and let's just say. Things took a dramatic turn. What could possibly lead to someone kicking out their wife and kids? All that plus more good videos to react to on this Good Friday. I don't want to hold you. Go ahead and hit the like button. Definitely share the video. If this is your first time watching, watch the entire video and subscribe at the end. Let's get to it. You think it's okay to sneak a 38-year-old man in my house? A 38-year-old man? How old is she? Huh? I can do whatever I want to do. Okay, since you want to be gone, let's see how grown you is. Huh? Get get out. Call your mama. Tell her to come get you. I'm not going to keep dealing with this, bro. my own stuff. You have 15 years old? At least she pays for all her own stuff? Where is she getting the money? For all that matters, I get the money to pay for my own stuff. You barely do that. Yeah. Barely do that? She's 15 years old. You shouldn't even be arguing with her. She got caught with a 38-year-old man. She needs her butt whooped. It's not the 38-year-old man bro, in here. All you do is you and your son, all y'all do is take up space in my house, eat up all my food, bro. Man Why is you sneaking 38-year-old man in my house while I'm at work? Did he just say her and her son and she's 15 years old mess around with a 38 year old and you're the father and you feel like you need to argue this is what's wrong it ain't really her it's you and she got pink hair you already know that's just all kind of mental illness when huh. i need to get stuff done i get it done that man's old enough to be your dad I don't give a, I my don't... age what did you got going you only 15 years old you think that's okay huh i'm ignoring you your, your brain is fried i'm trying to really process this through my head like what your mama I don't care. Huh? This is the reason your mom put you out now, ain't it? Huh? Of course she get it from her mom. You decided to have a child with a thought bot who raised a whole nother thought bot. So you're dealing with her mom all over again, bro. You should have been put your foot down. It's the reason why nobody in the family like you now. Because you do too much. You think okay, you're grown. Why did you take you me think in? You're grown. Why did you take me Because you my daughter in? and I love you, but I don't love you no more. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you with this love. Stupid. I don't need love. Man, look. I, I would go ahead and send her on back to her mom, bro, and just go ahead and write this off and pay your child support. I'm not going to sit in the house and deal with a little girl that thinks she grown, messing around with grown men my age, and that's your flesh and blood. Get in the comments to let me know what you doing in that situation. So me and our daughter, our five-year-old daughter, went and got tested today. What made you want to go get your five-year-old daughter tested after five years? Was she not looking like you? And it said that I am... Wait, why you take my baby to go get tested anyway? What, what do you mean? What kind of test, first of all? I you went... She should be taking... I it went home. and got a DNA discovery thing so you find out where you come from and kind of find out the child doesn't come from me. Yeah, five years... I can't even go crazy right now because the kids are asleep. Forget the kids being asleep. If they not your kids, then you are okay to wake them up because you thought they were. I would be raising hell. So I'm trying to stay calm. We have three children and the last one is not mine. How's this possible? Well, we know how it's possible, but guess what? But guess what? Because the kids are asleep, I'm not going to call you a bunch of names or cause a big scene. At this point, bro, you got two out of three. You are locked in. It is going to be cheaper to keep her at this point. But you and that Fabio, who I do love, is going to have to leave the place. No, because I pay bills here too, and her brothers and sisters is here. You ain't never about to separate my kids. You are on none of the bills with your name. Uh, Technically, yeah. okay, whatever. you don't have your ID that says you live here. One. Two. This you see what I, see why would I do that? Are you serious right now? Now I don't give a shit. What do you mean? Why would I do that? That's still your child. No, no. That's your child. No, no, no. That's your child. And yes, I do love her. I'm not denying that. But I can't continue to raise a child that's not mine. I'm not doing that. What kind of father would I be to my other two children to show them the kind of weak man raises a kid that's not his? You're not weak. You've been stepping up, being a good father. They see that. But what happens is... You got a biscuit head. You got two out of three kids. You're already paying bills. You have an established household. Just breaking up the relationship at this point is going to harm you. Yes, yeah, she's a thought by it. it doesn't change everything. And trust me, I can understand exactly how you feel, but I can't. You get in the comments and talk to me. Her mother helped. No. What, what kind of that? woman portrays that as his child for five years? A mistake. A mistake. A mistake is putting extra ketchup on my french fries. A mistake is accidentally turning off the TV. How do you accidentally get pregnant by somebody else? Do you even know who the father is? It doesn't matter who the father is. It does. 
Yes, it does matter who the father is because at this point, that's a whole nother income or possibly he can come there. He may want the child himself. How do you not know? That's letting your husband know that there's probably more than one possibility. She got to go at this point. It doesn't matter who the father no, it is. Doesn't. Are you serious right now? We've been in this house for five years raising that baby and the other two. They are, they know each other as they know you as daddy. Yes, daddy, father, papa, all that good stuff. It's but ridiculous. guess what? It is what it is. You wasn't honest back then, and I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I already called the police to come and escort you out of here. You 100%. I didn't want no arguments. No arguments. I didn't want no fight. No, no, no. I ain't starting no argument. Yes, you did. I am ending a problem. Oh my God. That's what no, we're doing. Now we're a problem. No, 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 no. Now we're no, a problem. No, like I said, I'm not going to lie. I love the little girl, but I'm not going to continue to be a father to a child that's not mine. And I'm not going to be loyal to a woman who was never loyal to me. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you didn't get this. It's not ridiculous. He's kind of in a catch-22, lose-lose situation. Out of the three kids, two of them are his, the one that's not. What should he do with the kid that's not his? I'm guessing you like hood niggas? No, I like corporate white men above the age of 30 with a trust fund. Corporate white men over the age of 30 with a trust fund? You think they want a hood booger hanging out at the club? A corporate job, a C, zero kids. Maybe an ex-wife is okay. If there's an ex-wife and he has money like that, there's some kids somewhere. A lot of money, several figures, and likes to pay bills. I, you're not my type. In this country, you got white. You know what I'm saying? She was giving me TS vibes anyways, and she's taller than the interviewer. You don't see girls like that ending up with educated men with trust funds and possible ex-wife and kids. Those type of guys are only going to call her up after 12 o'clock to get that mushroom tip taken down. Y'all, Ashley's teaching us a new dance. I'm going to go like this. Like, yeah. Okay. Why do TikTok women think making your booty clap is popular or good? It only shows how out of shape you are and why you need to buy those skins outfits to put your body together. That's all it does. It says, I have no muscle tone, just a whole bunch of fat all over the place. And trust me, when men get with you and they start feeling that, it's an automatic turn off. Women should offer to pay the whole bill so that men actually know if we're really interested or not. Because I know for a fact that if I don't f with you, I'm not paying the whole bill. I now she's starting to make sense that the woman should pay the bill to the guy that she really likes instead of going on a date with seven dudes and making them pay and still come up short. This may be something new. Is she drizzle drizzle without the drizzle yet? I've done God's work. I have converted her. Thank you, Brian. After being, and I think you might be pandering to the I men. believe in you. You know what? You're right. You said that if women are really interested in a guy and we're really down for them, like me personally, I'll spend all my money on you so you're right women should pay for the first date there is a god or is things changing ever since trump got in office now women starting to think different get in the comments and talk to me i want someone who values who 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 understand women value and not try to be the women because these days the, the, i knew it, you i knew they, i, I knew that. it some Y'all form of fashion and the, I, the word sassy was gonna come up in this yeah, conversation and it's like, i knew it these days i I just, I just want a man. What, what making the ass you do, y'all? When they think they the one who's supposed to be y'all getting flowers. You don't get your man flowers? <laughs> reciprocated. I'm saying you know, reciprocated. Okay. Reciprocated right, in cool, different areas. Cool. Like, if I buy you some flowers, don't say, well, if, you, if I be like, well, I mean, I want some flowers. Like, well, you give me some flowers? I hate that shit. Yeah. I hate it. Because you didn't ask for flowers until the flowers was brought, was brought up. up. I didn't even know you that's asked for flowers. Crazy. I feel like a relationship is reciprocation. Yeah. Period. Any type of relationship. Not yeah. even just your man relationship. Every relationship should be reciprocation somewhere. Yeah. But not what I want. Men are not becoming sassy. Men are just starting to love themselves more because they lost themselves out here trying to satisfy women. Now women are like the guys are caring more about how they are treated and how the relationship is going in their favor. True. Because women, we've been catering to your emotions forever. We're taught since little boys 
just a woman is weak. You should always be trying to help her out. And then women are like, we're not weak. We're independent. We could do this. We actually don't even need you. And it's like, well, why was our mothers telling us that we need to take care of you now we don't need to take care of you now that you're taking care of yourself you want us to take care of you can you see our confusion and can you see why men are starting to love themselves because you don't love who you are and you think we're there to make you happy just by buttering you up them days is over ladies it's drizzle drizzle season men get in the comments and talk to me so the women can see it what's your age 30 35 how long have you been together? Oh, we're not together. We're just friends. Yeah, just friends. No, nah, you guys are on a date. When she's 30, you're 35. You've lived a long enough life now to know that men and women can never be friends. Would you say you've ever looked at him in a romantic sense? No, definitely just platonic. What about vice versa? No, just friends. Well, what he gotta be gay and she gotta be lesbian. Why are y'all out together just to talk? You're not even co-workers. If y'all were the last two people on Earth? That's a really mm. tough question. Mm. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, I guess we'd have to wait to find out if the world ever ends. Yeah. Man, you know if you're going to clap those cheeks or not. If y'all were the last two people on Earth, you would have no choice but to sleep with each other. Because when you look around, there's no standards for you to choose from. What qualities does he have that's just not desirable for you that you'd want in a partner? <laughs> I mean, he's an amazing person. He's so sweet. Like, when you have that kind of connection, with someone that's like more of just like a friendship or it's like a brother yeah. or sister vibe it's like yeah that's just how you see the person well you're a man yeah let's say one day she's feeling herself and she says <laughs> i want to give you a shot tonight let's go i would want to risk a friendship in that scenario because then it can ruin things and make things weird so but if you knew it was just fun would you feel the same way well i've had situations in the past where that's happened and it's kind of ruined friendships so that's kind of why I choose not to always engage with those kind of things. That means you didn't clap the cheeks good enough. You didn't make her legs switch. And then she realized she kept you in the friend zone for a reason. Energy got messed up. It's the same thing with you and Girly right here. She's testing you out. You don't really have the masculinity of the man that she wants. But one day, that woman's going to see if you can clap cheeks. And if you clap those cheeks, that woman will be yours. You try to make love to her, you're going to lose her. I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on my size. We don't want a woman that's only going to base us based off our height. I'm six foot four, he's five eight. But you judge his, he doesn't qualify for you. With your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for. Watching a woman come up out of delusion, knowing that the whole world has been catering to her emotions. That only exists in La La Land. When women come out of La La Land, it is a very sad place for them. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Definitely share the video. If this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. And definitely go in the description and watch more of my other videos. Hasta la vista.